Well, North Korea is threatening to send the U.S. quote bigger gift package after conducting yet another missile test over the weekend. The short range missile was launched from the country's east coast. It flew about 280 miles before landing in the Sea of Japan. It's the latest in a string of test launches by North Korea in their attempt to build nuclear tipped intercontinental ballistic missiles that can reach the U.S. mainland. North Korea released video of the missile being fired, which reportedly flew for six minutes. This is North Korea's third missile test in the past three weeks. Peter Brooks is a senior fellow on national security at the Heritage Foundation and a former deputy assistant secretary of defense for Asian and Pacific affairs under former President George W. Bush. Peter, I want to ask you, we know that the U.S. is going to be launching uh, tests within this area uh, to see if they can launch an ICBM range type missile, shoot it down, you know, what do you make of these tests and could it possibly escalate tensions in the region? No, I think it's a good idea. Uh, missile defense is critically important and as the name of that system uh, implies or tells us, it's about defense. The United States has its right uh, to defend itself against uh, incoming ballistic missiles from those who would do us uh, ill will. And that includes North Korea. So I'm glad to see we're doing this. I don't think it'll raise tensions. I think it tells North Korea that we have capabilities. Uh, hopefully this test will go well, but we have other missile defense capabilities that will prevent us from being held hostage to North Korean policies. And for North Korea, three tests in the last three weeks. What do you make of that? Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, they're doing a lot of signaling. Uh, North Korea has both an internal audience, its people. Uh, which is live under its repression and uh, privation for quite some time. And it's also got an international audience. That's China, Russia, Japan, South Korea, the United States. And they're trying to send a signal. Uh, you, remember, we've just had uh, uh, elections, national presidential elections in South Korea. I think we've had a, one test a week uh, since that time. So there's signaling going on, but it's also, I believe, North Korea is trying to develop, as you mentioned, the, the capability to reach out and touch those uh, such as Japan and South Korea and the United States, it would like to um, have influence over. So they're definitely involved in a technological race to develop a capable a nuclear tipped missiles of a various number of ranges. Peter, how good is our capability of shooting down these missiles despite whatever range it might be? Yeah, what we have, what we have is called layered defense. It's, it's complicated and it's probably worth people may perhaps checking out online. We, we can try to get missiles in their boost phase, their early phase, just as they're launching mid-course and then terminal. Uh, and the United States has been developing uh, missile defenses that will address all of those. Some of them are land-based. As you remember, the United States sent the THAAD system, T-H-A-A-D system, uh, to South Korea. That's a terminal defense. We have missile defenses that are on mobile systems, such as U.S. Navy ships. And we also have some that are located here in the United States in California and Alaska. And I understand, if I'm correct, that that test missile, missile defense system will be launched out of California while the test missile will be launched out of the uh, South Pacific. President Trump tweeting recently and had this to say, North Korea has shown great disrespect for their neighbor China by shooting off yet another ballistic missile, but China is trying hard. Two-pointed question, what do you think of the way the president's been handling the crisis and how should the Chinese be responding? I'm not calling this a crisis. I, I think there are ex, uh, significant tensions. I think there's also a, a need to try to deal with this. But if this were easy, it would have been solved many, many years ago. Remember, uh, we're going back to the 1950s and, and this, uh, the war, the Korean, the Korean War, and attempts by Republican and Democratic administrations to try to resolve this uh, challenge. It's got a, I think it's getting more dangerous. The president is right to put time and effort into it. And I think he's right to engage China on this. But once again, this is a very, very difficult problem. Uh, North Korea is uh, a much more significant internationally with nuclear weapons, and I think it's going to be very hard to convince them to give up those nuclear weapons and its ballistic, its ballistic missiles, uh, even to get to stop that till they stop and test them, stop testing them. So there are real challenges here for the president, but I'm, I'm uh, comfortable with what he's done so far. You know, Defense Secretary James Mattis told our John Dickerson on Face the Nation that war with North Korea would be catastrophic. If you say it's unlikely they're going to give up those weapons, where is this heading with the White House? Well, look, you're, you're involved in managing risk here, very serious risk. 
uh, it doesn't mean we're going into going to war. I mean, we've had many situations. Remember the North Koreans took the USS Pueblo in 1969. They shot down a U.S. Navy reconnaissance a plane in the same year. Uh, you know, they had the backing of the Russians. They probably have the backing of the Chinese today, although the Chinese are not very happy with them. I think you're involved in managing risk here with hopes for uh, dip a diplomatic solution, like such as the reunification of the Korean Peninsula, which I think is the right, right thing to do, or even a peace treaty. You realize that this uh, uh, peninsula is still at war. It's just an armistice that ended the Korean War in 1953. So there are a lot of challenges out there, uh, but it is increasingly risky because of North Korea's ability uh, to do uh, to put a missile, a nuclear-tipped uh, uh, warhead on top of a ballistic missile of increasing ranges. Peter Brooks with some great perspective on North Korea. Peter, thank you. Thank you.